Well, hey, folks, and welcome again to the more summer 2020 Adventures Day 99. Okay, <laughs> on October the 2nd, 2020. Uh, folks, let me tell you, uh, I told you before, um, in many different ways, Chrissy and I are very blessed, you know, um, and you know, we don't say that braggadociously, it's just we are, okay, and another way that we were blessed today was that uh, one of my classmates had off today, so... Uh, we met with her this morning, and then she went with us today to St. Elmo, which is a old ghost mining town, all right, uh, about, uh, I don't know, 30 miles away, something like that. Um, went the back way, a way that I had forgot even existed. Um, uh, then uh, took us to uh, what they call the Midland Tunnels, which were tunnels blasted through the rock, uh, a series of four tunnels that uh, was either one uh, narrow gauge railroad early on, uh, and I, I, I actually I think that before that they were uh, railroad, uh, not railroad, uh, stagecoach, okay? Um, and then uh, later on when the railroad came in, you know, it went to narrow gauge railroad, um, you know. And, and they are historical in nature because they date back all the way to the stagecoach and the early, uh, early wild west days of Colorado um, they were you know that road that stagecoach road was the only way other than the river Arkansas River um, to go from Buny to Leadville uh, which were a lot of mines and uh, took us uh, into some other areas that uh, you know that we used to uh, hang out at uh, as, as kids um, so it was it was a blessing to be able to to spend the day with her and and talk about old times and you know other classmates you know where they were and what they were doing and and just get caught up on family things you know because she you know although I did not have her mother as a teacher her mother was a special ed um, elementary teacher okay and we moved here when I was a sophomore so obviously didn't happen but she was just a dynamite woman. I, I, I just loved her to death, okay? Um, and, and Nancy was probably, if I had a best friend that was a girl, you know, it, it, it very well could have been Nancy, okay? Um, I had a lot of guy friends, but I didn't really have a whole lot of girlfriends. But, uh, you know, Nancy was, you know, I just thought so much of her mother that I just thought of a lot of her too, and she was my classmate, so I mean, it was good. Um, and we were just, just friends. Um, and we've remained friends and in contact, you know, since high school. Lost in touch for a little bit, you know, found her, she found me, and then we've kept in contact, you know. But, uh, you know, she was telling us about, uh, you know, even a, a town that I didn't know existed, and I, even when I lived here, it existed, called Alpine on the way to St. Uh, St. Elmo. Beautiful little town. Um, David and Nadine, uh, I might move to Alpine, Colorado. <laughs> no care. <kidding. laughs> I would love to, but uh, with the way the prices are on land and cabins and everything else, uh, no, <laughs> it ain't going to happen unless I buy a lottery ticket. I doubt if that's going to happen. And I win a lot with the lottery ticket. But, uh, you know, and then, you know, let me go on. Um, after that, uh, I was able to contact one of my other classmates. Uh, and spent some time with her and and, and her family. Um, unfortunately, she spent most of the time in a hole. They were doing some uh, work at uh, her daughter's house, and so uh, Ricky was busy, and he was in the hole in the ground. So I, I spent a lot of time, uh, you know, talking uh, with her family. So, and but it was still good, you know, and, and the fact that I was able to, to spend some time with him, uh, her. Um, and also, I've, I've been able to contact three of my classmates and, and spend some time with them. Um, one of them uh, has got some back issues, and I don't want to go to his house, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, make him sick by chance, you know. Um, but he's, you know, I say he's got, you know, he's on some powerful drugs, so he can't get out of the house, and, 
I went out, so I don't know if I'll be able to see him or not. And some other ones uh, may or may not be able to, but you know, we'll see. And then that was two, okay? Then my third blessing, um, you know, Wednesday when we got here, I texted my cousin, not knowing if, you know, what was going on with him and, and his family, uh, you know, let him know that we were here. He texts me back, says, you know, uh, Jen's making reservations now. I work a half a day Friday. I'm off Saturday. We'll head that way as soon as she gets off work. So they got here because of the traffic. I mean, she got off work at 3 o'clock, but because of the traffic, they didn't get here till 7.30. Um, and actually, it's only about a two-hour drive. But anyway, um, I say traffic is, is crazy. On the weekends, out of Colorado Springs and out of Denver, coming here, it's crazy. You know, Ricky, uh, she had an appointment this morning in Denver, you know, and then came back and, like I say, was working on her daughter's house. Um, she said it was like a caterpillar, you know, 65, down to 20, 65, down to 20, 65, down to 20, you know, all the way from, you know, from Denver to Fairplay at least, which is about uh, 30 miles from here, 40 miles, I don't know, something. Um, it's been a while since I've been over that way. But anyway, like I say, um, the third blessing was that, that Russ and his wife, Jen, were able to come up. Uh, so we had dinner with them tonight. Um, tomorrow we're going to go on a train ride up in Leadville that my sister and Denny had, uh, uh, David had, uh, you know, highly recommended. So we're going to do that tomorrow right after breakfast, um, you know, and see the colors and, you know, some of the mining history of Leadville. So, you know, three blessings in one day. Three blessings in one day. God is good. Okay. Um, and I'm sure I'll, I'll see some of the classmates. Uh, took, you know, Chrissy took a lot of pictures, um, you know, of, of the, the colors, the aspens changing and everything, and the pine trees. And, you know, I took pictures of St. Elmo and took some pictures of some cabins there in, in Alpine. And, of course, Chalk Creek. You know, it's always beautiful. And uh, it was just a, just a good, good day, you know. Um, and I... I, I I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy about it. I ain't gonna kid you. I am happy about it, you know. Uh, but uh, you know, looking forward to getting to tomorrow, though. You know, it's uh, some more blessings. Okay, uh, Mama. What else did I miss? Anything else? Saint Elmo and the Midland Tunnels, and you know, mm. dinner, uh, no. dinner and everything. You know, one of the things there about Midland, the, uh, after you go through the Midland Tunnels, you know, uh, north. Um, they've got three rocks out there and one of them we've always called elephant rock because you look at it from the north and you can see the, the, the head and the trunk and then you know one rock is like out for the ear and everything so it looks like an elephant that one's been bone you know but turtle rock I had forgotten about or didn't even know about okay and bill rock they are and I didn't know at the time but you know when I lived here of course it probably wasn't um, they are training rocks and, and outcroppings, if you will, to teach folks how to mountain climb, how to rock climb. And while we were there, there were three three people, you know, climbing the, you know, the uh, turtle rock, you know, just neat stuff, you know. And uh, you got the, you know, turtle rock over here on this side, and over here you got the Arkansas River, and in the middle you got the Midland Tunnels. It's just great, you know. 8,000 plus feet, you know, it's just mm, 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 good stuff. <laughs> Can you tell I'm happy? <laughs> Blessed three times in one day. <laughs> oh, yes. But, and, and, and speaking of that, folks, let me, uh, you know, um, I've been having problems with my phone um, dying off, so, you know, and I don't know what the, what the problem is. Um, getting hot and, and, and shutting down so you know I'm gonna go ahead with this video and I'm gonna give you the scripture hopefully I'll get everything loaded tonight if not I'll get up in the morning and do it uh, so some of this stuff might be late but you know hey folks you know today's scripture is Psalm 16 11 all right you will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand are the pleasures forevermore okay you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are the pleasures forevermore. 
you know, and of course, some of the short versions, um, and not so short, you know. And, and here's another one, you know, that just, you show me the, the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. You know, and another one is, you know, you lead me in the path of life. I experience absolute joy in your presence. That's the truth. Oh man, that is, that's good. That is, that is the truth. You know, another one, you know, another little short one, you know, you fill me with joy in your presence. You have shown me the path to life. Psalm 1611. And folks, you know, it, we've, we've, I've, I've talked about it before. And I, I, I've brought it to you before. You know, um, serving God is not a dulgery. Okay? And as a believer, when you're serving the Lord and doing things that you know that He desires like praise and thanksgiving and showing him honor okay and talking to him and just say hey God or hey Father you know even now when my three sons or my daughter calls me and says hey dad how you doing hey dad I got a question my heart just oof, makes me feel good or, hey dad can you help me with this I need some help or you know what and it might be advice it might be physical help you know who knows just think how much more our heavenly father rejoices it feels good when you say hey dad you know i love you how you doing and by the way thanks for your son jesus christ and saving my you know forgiving my sins and, and saving my soul i just thank you just so unworthy but yet you did you know God, you know, Dad, why do you love me so much that you gave your only true son for me, a sinner? You know? And he says, from the day you were conceived, I knew what I had plans for you. Okay. Jeremiah uh, 29, uh, 12. You know, uh, you know, I've got plans for you of, 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 of success and 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 good things not a failure you know i love you and thanks son for calling me you know i said hey god you know hey dad that's what it is you know you've shown me the path of life you know in your presence of fullness and at your right hand are the pleasures forevermore you know so unworthy so grateful Y'all be blessed. I know I am blessed, not just for what God's given me, but three blessings in one day. You know, and top of all that, hey, I got a beautiful wife too. We'll see y'all. Y'all be blessed. Good night now. Cheers.